Yeah. And they cut at the bottom for the dog. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. I'm Masinge Bongani. I'm with one of my sergeants, Kadeko Mzimba. We are here during our sweeping here at Marula. So we are back at work. We're coming from eco training. It's almost about two weeks now. So now we'll do the sweeping. So we'll go to the bush where we have to remove all the snares and to track if the pushers are already in or something like that. Or because some of the pushers, they use the dogs. So we have to make sure that we track, uh, we back track. As we came back now, we have to clean our area. So we we'll try our best to remove all the snares. And then I hope maybe we can find one and then we can show you how the snake look like so we're gonna go through the bush so that we can clear all our areas so since it's very low they trying to catch small antelope i can say or animals But you can see what it's going to do. Yes. So this is the cable snake. So the way it is, it's already set up. So when the buffalo or kudu or anything, when they came here, they don't know that there is a, is a, a wire here. They just put their head here. And then when they walk, they normally walk like they just. So yes. it is very, very much painful to see the animal killed by the snake, caught by the snake, because it's almost on the head. So. Mm. It's very, very bad. It's a trap here. And by the, sh the way it looks, it's a boot. And it's going that direction because here it's like the heel of the boot. Yes. So and we're busy. So we need to proceed to follow, to do a follow up on it. And hopefully we might find something. I know they already inside the water cell, so we tried our best to look and then we chase them away because we don't need them here in our reserve that are destroying our environment. Uh, we done our sweeping so we are successfully because we found lots of snares and then we remove it in the bush and then the, the more the time we were working uh, the pushers was already inside our reserve and then so once we putting our boots down, ground, they hear us and then they run away. They cut a fence somewhere with the dogs and then they jump and then they go on. So at least they didn't uh, kill anything because all the snails that they put, we take it out.